Hi everyone. Channel Boy 12 here for six awesome people for Monday. Uh, this week I didn't really know what to talk about, so I thought, why not talk about a camera review? And since I have a Jazz DB179 camcorder, I thought about just talking about uh, the the features that are on my camcorder and what can you guys expect if you buy a camcorder like this, and you know just just to try. Uh, help you guys if you guys ever want to edit videos with a sort of camera like this. But first off, uh, when I bought the camcorder, it was on sale for $149. But I had to buy the memory, the memory stick, uh, separate. So it was like a 30 extra dollars. So in total, I paid for the camera almost 180, 190, almost 200 dollars if you want to put it exact. And then a couple minutes, a couple of months after, uh, HD cameras decided to come out. That I didn't notice. So when I bought the DB79, 179, it was fun because I never had a camcorder, so it was new for me. I didn't know how to edit videos in uh, with a camcorder like this. I didn't know how to edit videos in Movie Maker. You know, I didn't know how to be a professional video editor. So, I learned. I learned it on my own. I spent a couple hours every day on the computer, you know, just to learn the, the skills, you know, the, the basic transitions, the effects, you know, the titles, you know, where you can put the, the titles in your video. I learned all that kind of stuff. Like, other, like others, you know, they want to learn uh, picture editing, like Paint Shop Pro, Photoshop, you know, those kind of things. But I learned video editing. It wasn't that it wasn't that hard for me since I had an easy program to learn. I mean, there's a whole bunch of programs out there that are very expensive and it's hard to learn because, you know, if you're just a beginner, you know, you're not going to stick with the Sony Vegas program when if you're just a beginner of edit vid editing, right? If you're just a beginner like I was, use Movie Maker because it's a simple thing. You know, you have a layer for your your video, you have a layer for your audio and your layer for your title pretty much it. It's pretty easy. So when I had the DV one Jazz DV179, I had to uh, to find a way where I can put my videos onto Movie Maker. And when I made when I made the videos, I mean it was easy because the video was already formatted to an AVI. So it was not bad. And Movie Maker does take AVI. They take WMV, AVI, MPEG, and they don't take movie formats, so that's you have to convert it to. But if you do have a digital camera that does uh, have other formats, you can convert it with a converter. Uh, the converter that I'm using, it's a free converter that uh, it's, it's simple and easy. It's the best converter that I've ever used. It's called an Any Video Converter, so it's pretty cool. So anyhow, when I learned about the Jazz HD 178 camcorder, I was pretty excited. I, I wanted to learn that camcorder, you know? Like, it was a interesting camcorder. I mean, just to looking at the picture of the camcorder, it was like something I would have liked to use and make my videos in HD. But after reading it, you know, after reading the manual and after reading so much reviews about the camcorder, it makes me want to not want to buy it. Because what you can do today is if you have Vista, I know it works for Vista, but I don't know if it works for XP, but uh, I know if it works for Vista. What you can actually do is you can make your video to widescreen on a normal camera, and then what you do is actually save it as an HD video instead of a normal video. When you go to publish video for Windows Vista 6.0, Windows Movie Maker 6.0, uh, it's published, published to the computer, and you can publish it as an HD video. So technically, you don't need an HD cam, uh, camcorder or digital camera because you know you have the ability to make it into HD with your editing softwares. I mean, it's awesome. I think, I think if they had that back then, it would have been a lot easier for me. But uh, back then, there was not really a lot of things that there uh, existed. I guess, 
I guess the newest technology just kicks in, you know, and I think HD didn't come in until 2000, I don't know really when it came out, but I think it was around 2005, 2006, so, it to me, what is the difference between HD and normal, normal view, it's because HD is like a better clear picture, and it's the newest technology, high definition, I mean, they have digital box now about HD, so, People like me that can't afford HD, you know, you might as well just stick the normal thing, you know, and just convert it to an HD anyways, right? It doesn't have the clear thing, but... So, anyhow, when you have the Jazz HD 178, the, the resolution of the video, it typically, usually, it's 1280 by 720. But it can be converted to a 1920 by a 1080. So, and it, it is actually an HD video. I mean, they have some kind of HD, uh, uh, like a product into the camera that does HD videos. I mean, HD filmmaking is actually popular today because uh, I got a list right here, a bunch of videos, a bunch of movies that was made in HD. Uh, for instance, Miami Vice, pretty much everyone knows that one. My Name is Bruce, My Scary Girl. Once Upon a Time in Mexico, One Six Right, The Romance of Flying, uh, Rocky, uh, Rocky Bal Balboa, Boxing Match Scene. I mean, these are just some. I mean, there's a whole bunch of uh, movies out there that are made in HD today because it's the newest ways, you know. But I will read you a little bit of the HD in filmmaking. It's a, it's a pretty good... It's a, bit, it's a good quality camera. Uh, while... While the quality of HD video is very high compared to an SD video and offers improvement signals, noises, radio against com comparable sensitive sensitivity film, film remains able to resolve more image details than current HD video formats. In addition, some films has wider dynamic range. So sometimes it actually has a wider dynamic range. For instance, the Jazz DV-179, I mean, you don't have that much options. But this camcorder, what I like about it, like I said, there's some features that some camcorders don't have. Uh, this one doesn't have a light for video, but it has a light for take pictures. I mean, this camcorder turns into a video recording and a camera to take pictures. I mean, you get the jackpot there. But when I got the uh, camcorder it came up with it came with a software a video editing software called uh, showbiz dvd 2 it's actually a pretty good program actually good uh, good titles also the thing what i had problems with when i first had the camcorder was to make them go in the windows move maker because when i had the camcorder I had Windows Vista, Windows XP, I should say. So, I mean, there are some good qualities with other cameras that some cameras don't have. I mean, this one doesn't have a night a light for videos, and some videos, some camcorders do have light. I mean, we all we have like a win win lose situation kind of thing. So, so my name is China Boy Twelve. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little little review on cameras and camcorders. Hope you guys all go go out and buy a Jazz DV179 because it's a fantastic camcorder. It's a flip and go thing. You know, it's an easy thing to put in your pocket, and it's affordable. So, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys all go buy one and tell me about it. So my name is Shadow Twelve. Take care, and I'll see you guys all next week on Monday for the six awesome people.